Hello? Hi, is Anthony available? Uh, who's calling? Uh, this is Steven. I'm with the Verizon billing office. It's about your account. We changed uh, his numbers. We changed the phone numbers. Oh, Anthony Sr. or Jr.? Uh, There's two of them. I don't know. Whoever owns the Verizon numbers. There's three numbers on your account, and we changed them oh. all to new phone numbers. And what are they, please? May I have them? Sure. Uh, so the first one, it's the 1587 number. We changed that to uh, 905. You have the, you have the wrong Nancy. That is not us. Oh, I no. don't even know that number you're speaking of. What? No, the one I just called you on. Uh, it's 7. R- right. Yeah, it's changed. It's a 905 number now. It's can- It's Canada. Canada? Yeah, you have a Canada number now. Why would I have a Canada number? Because I, I'm, I'm going to put my husband on. I have no idea okay. what you're talking well, about. Well, you don't have to oh, yell at me. You don't have to yell at me. I just I made no, no, mis- no, because I, because I don't know what you. There's a lot of scams going on, so I don't know what you're talking that's about. Not, you need to speak to my husband. Not Hold a on. scam. I just you have a number? change hello? Your, Oh, hello, Anthony. Yeah. Oh man, I don't know what her problem was. I, I'm just I'm calling from the billing office with Verizon. Um, I accidentally changed your phone numbers. Like all, you have three lines. I changed them. I don't, I don't. You want to know the truth? I don't have a Verizon phone. Well, it was originally with us. What's the and, phone number? Well, your your new phone number, or your old phone number. What's the old phone number? The the one five eight seven number. The, that's the one that no, no, no. would normally be this number. Okay. Yeah. This is my phone number. So okay. I don't know who you're from. Well, no, it's changed. Okay. It's, it's changed to a new phone number. Why did you change my phone number? Well, hey, look. Can you tell your wife in the background just to shut the fuck up? Because we're talking. Oh, time out, pal. Whoa, time out. Okay, mean? time out. What do you mean time okay. out? So I ain't no this phone call is kind of over because nobody nobody talks like that. Well, no, your wife phone. was yelling at me, and now she's yelling at you care. while you're on the phone. I don't care. You know what? There's there's a thousand scams a day. It's it's not okay. a scam. I don't know if you're a scam or not. Listen, okay. I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. Listen. Your your number doesn't work anymore, and if if anyone tries to call you, they're well, gonna. Well, how come somebody just call me? Because uh, I called you on your new phone number. You have a new phone number. It's in the I don't have a new phone number. Yes, I got you my do. Old phone number. No, I'm calling from the billing center. Tell her to shut up. Excuse me. Just tell her to shut Excuse up. Excuse me. What? What the? All right. I tell you what. Put your supervisor on. I can put your supervisor. No, no, no. I want to talk to your supervisor. Okay. Let Let me get her. It'll just be a minute. Okay. Let me get your supervisor. I'm I'm getting the supervisor. Just give me a second. Okay, let me get you supervisor. Let me. I, I won't talk to you anymore. Carol, can you pick up line three? It's some asshole. Three. Hello, this is Carol. Can I help you? Yes, I want this guy fired. What? Who's this? Okay, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I don't want, know what. I want whoever I was talking to fired. Oh no, that that's Gary. He's he's fine. He's just uh. Yeah. Well, he just told me he just told me to tell my wife to shut the fuck up. No, sir, you don't need to curse with me. I'm I'm the supervisor. No, 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 no. no. I'm 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 not cursing at you. I, I'm telling you what your guy told me. Okay, I I don't even. That's know. That's what he told me. I tell you what, I want. I want Verizon notification to send me an email that they changed my phone number. Okay, and we'll give you the three okay. new phone numbers. It looks like Gary... No, no, no. I don't want a new phone number. No, you get... If they change my phone number, then I'll have to cancel my service, and I'll have to go to Time Warner now. Okay, look, I'm sorry, but Gary made a mistake, and he accidentally no, changed no, your phone No, no, there's no mistake. He cursed at my wife. Yeah, but he accidentally changed your phone he... number. Whoa, 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 time out. He cursed at my wife. Do you allow... It, so you must be a scam. I don't think Gary. Verizon, I don't think Gary would do that. Okay, no, 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 no. Listen to me. Okay, you have to be a scam. You know why? Why? Because my Verizon would never, ever, ever on the phone tell my wife to shut the f up. Well, G- Gary's just having a rough week. He's he's going Whoa, through a divorce. Whoa! Time out! Time out! Dif- time out! I want Gary fired. Well, you, I want Gary fired. Well, you're not Gary's supervisor, so you can't fire no, him. No, 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 but I want, then, you know what, let me talk to your supervisor. Well, he's on a different floor. I'd have no, to transfer you No, 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 I want to talk to your supervisor. But what about? Okay. I didn't, I didn't do oh, anything wrong. Oh, listen. Don't address it. I want to talk to your supervisor 
or else I will report you as a scam. Okay, you, I, I, let me get my supervisor. But can you tell get that lady in supervisor. the background to tell her to shut the fuck up, please? See? There you go. You're saying it too. No, there she goes. She, she keeps like no! blabbering. Like, nim, okay, nim, nim, nim. okay, see? Here we go. You need to tell her Here time out. Tell her time okay, out. Okay, I'm calling Verizon right now. I am going to call Verizon and tell them that there is people within their organization, organization cursing on the phone. Okay. Okay, make, because be sure to... we, we do not curse in my family. We do not do that. You just say time and out you, a lot. Not only you have cursed, okay, but your guy has cursed. I Bye-bye. know, but that's Gary. He's going through a divorce. Time out, pal. Whoa. Time out. Time out. Time out. Okay. Whoa! Time out. Okay. Whoa! Okay. Hi everyone, you're listening to the Snowplow Show. This is episode 609. It's brought to you by Six Week Tenure, Jason B, The Stunning Kruger Effect, Shrink Man, and another prank call show. Those are a few of the supporters at patreon.com slash phone losers. Also, thank you to the new people who've signed up recently on the Patreon, like Perrin B, Jason W, Paul H, Kieran B, Icelandic Potato, Jenna L, Matt L, Total Second, and Green Box Media. Hopefully at least a few of those people are enjoying the extra shows every week. And thank you to Apollo for that song on the beginning, that Time Out song. I'd kind of forgotten about that call. That call was nuts. Thank you for putting that together. I have important news about stickers. If you're following me on Twitter, you know that I finally got that last sticker order in, the Chrome sticker. So I was able to send out all of the stickers, sort of, almost. Uh, There's a small issue. You guys ordered too many stickers. So I kind of ran out near the end, and some of you aren't going to be getting your full orders right away. It might be another month, because I have to order more stickers now. I made sure to send out stickers to everybody that had ordered them, just, you know, maybe not quite your full order. So if you ordered stickers, there is something on the way to you in the mail. I put those in the mail on Saturday, and I'm pretty sure everybody got all of the designs. It's just that you may have not gotten all of the stickers you wanted. You know, maybe instead of 10 stickers, you got two of them. There's a note inside your order explaining the situation. I tried to do them in the order they were received, so the people who ordered earlier are more likely to have gotten their full orders. And the people who waited too long, you just gotta wait. Sucks to be you, doesn't it? But don't worry, I won't forget. I've already got the envelopes all addressed and everything. As soon as the stickers arrive, I will be sending those out. Thank you once again to everybody that's ordered stickers. I made my money back, and I still have extra money to order another batch of stickers. But now, I need you guys to buy more stickers again, so I'll make my money back again. I don't know. I basically made it back. It doesn't matter. It just sucks that I ran out. So if you want some Snowplow Show and Phone Loser stickers, you can send $5 via PayPal to show at snowplowshow.com. And it may take a month, but you'll get some stickers. I promise. I have two things I want to play before we get started today. First, there's this small clip of Distorted View from three days ago. Tim decided that it was okay for him to play my calls on his private shows that people pay for and charge people to listen to my pranks. No, I'm just kidding. I think it's awesome. He played one of the calls, and then he had this to say about the call. Yeah, that that name means nothing to me. Yes, Tim Henson back here with you for another Sideshow exclusive podcast. At the top of the show, you heard Brad Carter making another prank phone call using my name, getting people all pissed off at Tim Henson. I'm sorry, Tim Henson. That's the name he uses whenever he plays... Uh, an employee from, like, Bell South or some other telephone company. I absolutely think these calls are brilliant, and I'll tell you why. Brad has figured out that people really care about their fucking phone numbers. You know, I I was thinking... All right, I'm not going to play the entire intro. You guys don't want to hear this. 
But if you want to hear Tim just gush on and on about me and how great I am, you should start listening to his show. He actually did this on two of his shows. One was one of his private shows and the other one was one of his public shows. You know, he does the hobo sewed thing too, but he calls them the side shows. And his side show was January 16th. The public one was January 17th. I'll put a link to both of those in the show notes. If you want to listen to Tim play some of my calls and he puts awesome music behind them. To make them better, I guess he thought they were too boring just to play on their own. I had to put music behind them. And the other thing I want to play is this call I made, uh, I think maybe a week ago. It's a Arby's Bell prank, and Daisy was doing a show, Daisy Pendergrass. She does a show on her own channel, which is Mixler.com slash Daisy Pendergrass or Daisy's Dungeon, whatever she's calling it now, I don't know. But she was doing a show while she was driving around, and she stopped at an Arby's and I asked her if I could have the Arby's ring their bell while she was in there. And it looks like this is a four and a half minute call. But what's great about this is I was listening to her live stream and I was making the call. So you get to hear both parts of the audio. You get to hear her talking about it, I think, a little bit. I mean, she's mostly being quiet because she was sitting there in the Arby's lobby. So you're going to hear kind of double audio. You'll hear it happen on the phone first. And then you'll hear it louder on Daisy's end because Daisy is closer to the bell that they're ringing. And the lady I talked to, she is awesome. She sounds like a cartoon character. Just listen to this lady. She's amazing. Arby's. Hey, this is Christy. How can I help you? Hey, Christy. This is Kevin from the corporate office with Arby's. Hey, how are you? Pretty good. Were you having problems with your bell there? You know, the bell yes. that, that the customers ring? Uh the bell that they ring yeah not that i know of oh because we were showing it was off uh, a few uh a few frequency levels um is there any way you could go out to where the bell is we just got to ring it and i'm gonna test it with some uh equipment here frequency level yeah and then i got a question for you because i'm actually trying to put a ticket in for my fryers and oh. the the number that is on my that's on the fryers the little pfj tag number is not pulling anything up and oh. i can't i can't even put a ticket in for it because when hmm. i try to put it under product fry master it won't pull up so i'm not sure oh, if yeah. i'm doing something wrong or I what's can, happening i can look into that okay so i'm so glad you called hang on let me only know if you'll do the bell though the bell. okay well um, are you going to be able to stay on the phone while you go to the bell no, it's, unless you want to call me on my cell phone. Oh uh, well, we can we can just um, can, can you ring it for about a minute straight because I can pick it up on the store's microphones that are up in the ceiling. Okay, the ba it's a it's a not a uh, techno oh god technology be technology bell. It's just like a regular bell. Oh yeah, yeah, that's what I mean. It, I think okay. I think the dome is off or something. Could you ring it for a full sixty seconds, like? Ring it while you count to 60? Yeah, I sure can. And just do it as loud as you can so the microphone picks it up that's up in the ceiling. Okay. All right. Hang on. Okay. Thank you. So Daisy's sitting here eating. Oh, and there goes the bell. That was Daisy. So now it's louder. That means we're picking it up on Daisy's stream. Get it. Well, was that for a full um, 60 seconds? You want me to keep doing it? Oh, yeah. for. Okay, six... okay. I'm sorry. I got people looking at me like I'm crazy. Okay, hang on. Oh, it's 60 seconds. Count to 60, please. Count to 60. Okay, hold on. Thank you. And you're going to hear Daisy scream, which is amazing, while they're ringing the bell. So there it is, off in the background. <laughs> that was awesome. In a second, Daisy stream will catch up. <laughs> there was a scream in the background.
Daisy's just hanging out in an Arby's, screaming at the top of her lungs. Okay, you get here, I'm sorry, here. Hey. Hey. Hello? <laughs> is that, is it, I counted, is that a good? Um, it looks, it looks, it looks, the computer's saying that you were five seconds short. You must have counted too fast. Oh, gosh, are you serious? Yeah, I'm so sorry, it has to be 60. 60 seconds. Are you sick? Who is this? I'm a prank caller. I know you gotta be a prank caller because there ain't no way. (laughs) (laughs) I'm so sorry, ma'am. I feel bad now because you're so cool. I'm so sorry. Okay, well, thank you. Appreciate it. I'm sorry I can't help you with the fryer. Yeah, okay. You're awesome, though. I love you. Yeah, I love you. Aw, thanks. She told me she loved me. That was a lot of fun, though. Thank you, Daisy, for giving me their number while you're hanging out there and eating your sandwich or whatever. Eating your sandwich and screaming at the top of your lungs. Daisy does like a billion shows every week. If you ever want to listen to her, be sure to subscribe to her on Mixler at Mixler.com slash Daisy Pendergrass. I'll have a link to that in the show notes. I think that's everything I've got for the intro today. So let's get started with today's show. Yes, sir. Listen carefully. If we don't make the first cases, they will lose the account. If your long distance sounds bad, get 30 free minutes of crystal clear fiber optic long distance. Call Sprint now and switch. I've got a list here from Sarah, Sarah O2. And she sends me lots of numbers. This one, I don't know when she sent it. I just, I found it in my dockhub.com file list. It's a list that I've called off of before, but the date on it is 2016. It's a country club membership directory thing over on the East Coast. And I'm looking on the webcam, you know, like a live webcam of the city. And it looks very snowy there. I haven't done nearly enough snow calls this year. So I'm going to do some snow calls. And maybe I'll pretend to be from the country club. I don't know. I don't have any plans. I just want to do some snow calls. Hello? Hi, Ellen? Yes? Hey, this is your neighbor, Gary. I live over on Swift Street. Hello? Um... Yes. Hey, do you think you could? You? Can you stop? Can you stop coming over over to my house and and writing things in the snow in my yard? Oh, I don't. Okay, first of all, I don't know who you are. Yes, yes, you do. You're the one that keeps coming over to my house and writing stuff in the snow. No, I don't. Can you please stop? I don't even know who you. I don't know who you are. I, do not call me again. I told you it's Gary, your neighbor. Did she say call again? Oh, I guess I won't call again, since she asked me not to. Hello? Hello, James? Yes, James? Hey, it's Steve Dave. I'm your neighbor. Are you my neighbor? Yeah. Hey, do you think you could stop coming over here and writing on my car window in the snow and in the frost? Because that, that, leaves, that leaves marks on my Where window. Do Where do you live? I live over on Dunning. I'm the one that you keep coming over here and and writing on my car window. Like, eh. right, where where do you live again? Oh, over on Dunning. Like, how many people do you do this Dunning to? Dunning Road. Yeah. Yeah, I don't live near Dunning Road. You don't live on Pine. Jackass. You don't live on Pinecrest. No, my father lives on Pinecrest. Oh, Listen so your fa- your father's doing it. What's his problem? What's your problem? Well, I don't like Listen, him. My father doesn't write in nobody's windows. How would way. how would you know? You you watch everything he does. How about this? Give me your address. I'll come over and kick you in the fucking head. Oh, you you could you couldn't even you couldn't do that. I'd kick your really? ass. Really? You're talking about my father? I don't know who you are. I'm gonna tell you right now. You just stop fucking calling me. I'll kill you. <laughs> I. <laughs> you just threatened to kill me, and then you yeah. laughed. That's hilarious. Oh my god, it's his father. What the hell, Sarah? What's with this list? It's not even accurate. You'd think an old list from 2016 would still be accurate, but no. Hello? Hey, uh, Robert? Yes? This is Steve Dave. I'm your neighbor. You're my neighbor? Yeah. Um, I was wondering... Can you... Where, Steve? Uh, I just, like, I'm, I'm over on... Avenue, look, can you just stop coming over here and writing on my car window in the snow? 
because that leaves marks on I, my window. Can you please stop? Sir, sir. So wait, wait, wait. I I've never written on your car window. Oh so bullshit! No, I know it's you. That? I've got I've got a ring camera. Hey, sir. What? I just had double knee sir. I just had double knee replacement. Well, you need to stay inside I, then I, and stop gone. stop messing with my car window. Sir, wh- where do you live? Cause I'm gonna come up and talk to you. I don't want I, you to oh, talk to shit. me. I don't. I don't want you coming over at all. Just stay away from my house and my car. Wait, where I I have not gone near your car, sir. I cannot come up to your car right now. I just had both my knees replaced. Okay, well that that's no excuse. How could you even say that I would do that? I don't know. You got you got it wrong, dude. Hey, you got the wrong phone number. Don't call me dude, chief. Yeah, yo, c- come down here. I'll call you, chief. What bullshit? Don't call you, dude. Well, you're you're being kind of condescending, saying dude like that. Look, just just stop. Well, you you accuse me of something that I didn't do. Okay, well, settle down. I'm just, sitting just... here. I'm sitting here, and I can't I can't walk up there and do that. So why are you saying I did that? Okay, well, just stop doing it. That's all I'm saying. It's not a big deal. No, just, no, no, I I didn't do it. No, I, I didn't do it. Look, I ha- I have a ring security camera. I I can see you. But, not me. Well, it's got to be you. It How looks, do you know it's me? It looks just like you. It's not me. I don't know. So, so you've got a doppelganger you know, here. Want to talk to the... my wife? Want to talk to my wife and see if I've left my house today? Oh, she, she'll probably back you up and just lie for you. So, look, just pl- well, can you please stop? Just that's all I'm asking. Just please. Where, where do you live? I've told you so many times now. I live over on. Yeah, on it, where? Which what street? What I mean, what what number? Um, well, you know, it's just like right, right as the, you're coming off of your road, and um, you know, I'm I'm like the blue house, and you always stop and you write on my car window, and you're writing like I have never you, written on your car window, and you're ever. you're 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 writing like Steve Dave loves Robert, like with a heart, and that's you know I, I'm I'm straight, I'm not a homosexual. I have no idea who you are. I have no idea what you're talking about. Like it looks like you, and they're use, they're putting your name on the window. They, you, you keep writing your name on my window. It's not so, me. It is not me. Okay, all right. I, it's, I, have you not heard me? I just had both my knee joints replaced. Oh, you keep saying I that. I could not have walked up to your house and done that. I could not have. <sighs> all right. Well, I just I had just had surgery, sir. Okay. That, would oh. not allow me to do that. Well, do, are you sending your wife up to do it then? Oh yeah, my wife's running up there and doing it. Well, I just it seems weird that you know you you guys are both just playing games on my car window. Just please stop. That's all I ask. We're not playing games. Go go fuck yourself. Hey, don't don't say that. Did did you guys hear that Robert had knee surgery in both of his knees? Remember that time he told us about that like five times in one call. Hello. Hi, Jean. Yes. Hey, this is uh, Gary. I'm your neighbor. Gary, my neighbor. Yeah. Um, I I noticed like footprints in the snow coming from your house, and you, you were like walking around my house, and like I don't know what that's all about. But can you not do that? I don't know who you are. I I just I live up this. I'm on the road, but like way at the end. You know the blue house. No. Okay. And well, I have not been walking anywhere on your property. Well, somebody, I don't even know who you are. somebody from your house has. Can you please just tell everyone to cut that out? No one's walking. Gary, what's your last name? Why do you need that? Because I don't know who you are, and you're accusing me of something that I can't say that I've done okay. or well, well, no, I'm that sh- anyone in my house has done. I'm, I'm and sh- I don't know who you are, and but, I'd like to know what your last name is, I'm, Gary. I'm sure it was, my, my last name's Walsh. I'm sure it was somebody there, though, because the footprints come straight from your house. Well, maybe there were deer. No, they're, fo- they're people footprints. Okay, hold on a second, Mr. Walsh. How come? Where are you going? Oh, this is Mike. Can I help you? Hey, Mike. I-, I was just wondering, like, I don't know if it's you or, or that wife of yours, but, um, you know, I noticed the footprints, and you guys are walking around my house, like, creeping around. Who uh, are you? Uh, I'm your name. Where do you live? I live? I already told that wife of yours that. Well, I didn't stop saying your wife of yours. It's derogatory. No, Where it's do not. you live? I'm de- like at the end of the road in the blue house. And the footprints led straight to your house. I know it was you guys. Is either- You're, where were you? I, I'm like at the end of the road. You know, like the the corner of uh, 
Court Drive and an old road. The corner of where? Look, just tell tell that wife of yours and you that just stop hey, stop doing that. Listen, listen. You stay off my property. Nobody I, in my family has been on your property. No one. If I wasn't on your in property. Their footprints. Stay off my property, and I'm insulted by you saying that wife of yours. I was only on your property. Is over. Hey, shut Stay the fuck off up. My property. Hey, I was never on your property, idiot. You listen. I, I don't know who you are. I just went to the edge of your property because that's where the footprints led. So just stay off well, my I don't property. Know. No one has been back. Where is my where? where? In the front of my house? Well, in the back of my house? You should know because you were the one that was here. It's either you or that wife of yours. I was. Who are you? My What's, name. Where, what is, where do you live? What's your address? My name is, I'm in the blue house. This is Steve Dave. What blue just, house? At the very, I already told you, look, just follow the footprints. Why don't you do that? That's what I did. What find, footprints? Where in the, the front? Ones, the ones that you left. Maybe you slept walk or something, but it's in the snow. Oh, this has got to be a joke. I don't know who you are. It's not a joke. You're a joke. That, that's definitely the name of today's show, that wife of yours. He did not like that. Hello? Hi, Liz? Yes. Hey, it's your neighbor. This is Roy. Roy? Yeah, like round the corner. Oh, okay. Uh, wh what were you doing in my yard today? Me? I guess it was you. I, I followed the, the footprints in the snow, and it led to your house. Uh, wasn't me. Uh-huh. Yeah, no, it was definitely... It, lo it looked like female footprints. Can you... Like, I, I don't know what you're doing out here, but that's a little weird. Well, first of all, who, I don't know who you are. Oh, I, I, live, around, you? I live around the corner on <laughs> Drive. At 185? Yeah, how'd you know? Well, I mean, it's the only other house on Oh, yeah. And it certainly wasn't, certainly wasn't me because I wasn't home today. Oh, well, no, I, don't, I don't know. Maybe, was it, was it your husband or something? I don't know. I, I, don't, I, I, I mean, is but is there a problem? I mean, no, it's you just, can't just make assumptions that that you know it was us. Well, it's not an assumption. I followed the footprints to your house. Is there a problem? I no. mean, I wasn't home today, so I don't know oh, was who was out and about walking it, around. It was probably Jeffrey then. Like, what's Jeffrey doing prowling around my house? That's weird. Well, would you it, like to talk to him? Uh, I can put him on the phone. Well, can you just tell him not to do that anymore? It's weird. It's like weird when I see foot, well, footprints. I, I'll, I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. He's he's right here. I'll let you uh, talk to him. Okay. I mean, you're selling your house, right? It's on the market, so yeah, but you know, there's gonna I, be people walking around checking things out. What? What? Are you guys buying or something? Like, what are you doing over here? No. No, no, we're not buying, and I wasn't there. Hang on a minute. Let me, let me talk to Jeff. Let me, he's right here. Okay, yeah. Hello? Hey, Jeff. Hi, how are you? Pretty good. I don't know what that wife of yours is talking about, like, being all weird about it. Just, just I, I was just hoping you could, um, you know, not, not walk over around my house and prowl around like that. It's weird. Are you, who are you talking to, me? Uh, of course, yes. She put you on the phone, right? Um, I don't. I don't even know who you are. Oh, it's, it's your neighbor. It's Roy, over on. Okay. Uh, um, I haven't been up and around your house and since it's left. Well, it's either you or that wife of yours. My wife hasn't been prowling around your house. I okay. Well, you. I don't know. The footprints led straight back to your house, to your property, so it must have been you. It definitely was not me. When 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 did when it, when was it? Because that actually concerns me. Because my alarm, I have a chime on my door, in about you know I'm going to say twelve thirty one, it went off. I didn't even bother to look at it because I just figured it was the wind. Um, yeah, I'd check it out. It definitely wasn't us. I, well, my, my wife wouldn't wouldn't be up there, and maybe the alarm went off when your wife snuck out to go prowling around my house. Dude, you're joking. 
All right, who is this? No, I wouldn't joke about this. It's just it's a little weird that you guys are you, you two are coming out here and prowling around my house. If you got a problem with someone prowling around your house and go call the police because it wasn't me and it wasn't my wife. Well, All you right? know, it's not like nobody broke in or anything. I, it was nice I, talking to you, Roy. This is a great way to meet great way to meet you also. Well, what do All I right? care? I'm I'm, I'm moving out of the neighborhood. I don't, I, I don't hey. give a shit. Well, then good. Good good luck with uh, selling your house, okay? Okay. What, Thank you. What, what does that mean? Is that a threat? Oh, my God. I feel threatened now. I looked at this one on Street View, and like it, it's like super far away. They're out in the country. They would have had to really have walked quite a ways to, to get to Roy's house. Hello? Hi, Beth. Yes? Hey there. Uh, it's Steve Dave. I'm your neighbor. Oh, yes. Hello? Hey, um, I, I don't know what the, the snowman was about. What, how come you guys came over and built a snowman in our yard? I'm sorry, who is this? Uh, th- this is Steve Dave. You know, down a few houses. And where are you calling from? From my house. And where is your house? Like three houses down. What's the address? Why? Well, it's the one you built a snowman in the yard, or did you do that in everyone's yard? Did not do that. Oh, well, no, I know it's someone from your house. Can you please not do that again? It's weird. I'm not, e- I'm not even up north. What does that mean? What's the address? Your address? No, yours. Oh, quit trying to trick me into my address. Like you, you know what it is. It's okay, what what's the road? You're, what road are you talking about? Road. We don't live on road. We moved. Oh, okay. I wonder who that is then. He, the people you sold your house to—they're fucking weirdos. Oh, I'm. I have no control over that. But we moved over a year ago. Well, do you, do you still have their number? Can you call them up and tell them to cut it out? No, I don't. Well, you don't, or you just don't want to. I'm not going to. Cause, cause I don't those, know who you are. Those people you sold your house to, they're fucking weirdos. They're like coming over and building snowmen in my yard. Oh, I'm sorry. You, I have no control over that. Well, you Knock checked, on their door. You should have checked their background better before you sold them a house. Hello? Hi, Doris. Yes? It's uh, your neighbor, Steve Dave. My neighbor, Steve? Yeah. Hey, how come uh, you guys built that snowman in my yard today? I didn't build any snowman. Oh, yes, you did. No, I, I saw you on my my ring camera. You saw me on your ring camera? Yes, building a snowman in my yard. I just, like, it's not a was big deal. I an, was I an old lady with cancer? Oh, well, I, the, the ring camera doesn't really pick up uh, ailments yeah, and stuff? I, if I had, like, a little silly hat on covering my head because I'm bald... Well, I, I, I would didn't go out of my house today. I'd hope you'd have a hat on anyway. It's cold out. I think that you have the wrong people. Ma'am, I know it was you. Like, it's not a big deal. I now, just, where do you live exactly? I just, Tell me. I just didn't understand why, you, why you're doing... Tell me where you live. Where do you I'm, live? I'm right around the corner from you on Terrace. Well, around the corner? Yeah. Like, the first house where the used to live? Yeah, that's the one. Like you built a snowman. Like it's the one you built. There a... is no way in hell that I did. You are trying to ruin a, f- a neighborly friendship by saying this and what? accusing me of this. Ma'am, I'm I... a seventy-one-year-old woman that doesn't go out building snowmen I... in people's yards. I thought you were just trying to do something nice for me. I, I'm not trying no, to ruin no. anything. No, no. Thank you very much. I'll it's always just... remember this of you. It's weird, though. <laughs> No reason for her to be like that about the whole thing. Jeez. Hello? Hi, James. Who's calling? Um, well, Jesus Christ, that was a weird way to ask me. Um, th- this is Steve Dave. I'm your neighbor. Oh. <laughs> Holy Hi, shit. how you doing? I'm bite, sorry. Bite my head I off. Was, I'm in the hospital. I'm in the emergency room. And oh. The phone has been ringing off the hook with various different people and i didn't recognize the number <laughs> oh, okay this is my cell phone and i use it for work too oh wow what, what if i'd been a client you would have bit their head off <laughs> well uh, i'm a i'm a, I'm a doctor in the hospital so it's been 
texts, and I've been getting calls all day. Oh, what can I do for you? Um, what well, brings this call? You you built a snowman in my yard this morning. I I wasn't sure why. I thought that was kind of weird. What? You, you built a snowman in my yard. No, I didn't. Oh, yeah, you did. No, I I saw you on my ring camera. I've got one of those cameras, and I I mean it's, me. it's it's no big deal. Like you don't have to deny it or anything. I I thought it was cute. It's not me. I didn't do the snowman. I went to work. I've been in the hospital. Okay, well, I'm in the hospital. Well, I like maybe before you went to work. I guess is before I woke up. Like you had the snowman no, built that here. I did not build a snowman in your yard. Well, was it that <laughs> wife of yours? Is this a crank call? Who is this? No, I'm. It's not a crank. I'm your neighbor. I just, I just didn't. I wasn't sure what the meaning of the snowman was, or if you're just trying to be friendly, or it, it's cute. I like it. I just, I don't know. I thought it was weird. I don't know what you. I have no idea what you're talking about, and I'm not happy that you're accusing me of doing something well, that I didn't not, do. It's not an accusation. It's not. It's like yes, it's, it's nice. An accusation. It's not right. So we're going to end this conversation right now. Oh, well, good. I don't care. I, but I mean, thank you for the snowman. I didn't build a snowman. I haven't been there. I mean, I work in. I'm a doctor in. Okay, well, yeah, good for you. Nice bragging there. I was not. I did not build a snowman in your backyard. What makes you think it was me? Because I saw you on my ring cam. Like, are you just? How do you? Know, you what, what makes you think it was me? Because I know what you look like. Are, are you sleepwalking or something? Is that it? <laughs> no. Listen. You're mistaken, and before you start making accusations about things, who who is this? Where do you it's, live? It's not I an accusation. It's, it's, it's not even an accusation. It's a snowman. Like it, uh, I thought I liked it. I just I thought it was odd, so I was calling okay. to ask why. This must be a crank call. What What is your name? Uh, Steve Dave. I, I live here in this. I'm on road. What's your I, address? Why? I don't know who you are. Okay, I'm at forty six. Like up, up the street. Oh. Okay. Um, this is not appropriate. I'm not happy about this accusation. It wasn't me. And you're mistaken. And you, before you make accusations like this, you better check your facts. You keep saying so accusation. I'm going to I'm gonna end this phone call right now. Good. Um, please do not call me again. Actually, I, I, I don't. This I, is the weirdest phone call I've ever got. I won't call you again because you'll probably bite right my head now. off again. I'm so happy he was a doctor. I thought he was going to also tell me about cancer or crazy knee surgery or something like that. Try to bum me out. But no, he, he's a doctor. Everything's fine. He's probably the guy treating Doris and doing knee surgeries and stuff. Hello? Hi, Andrew? Yes. Hey, uh, this is your neighbor, Steve Dave? Yeah, hi. How are you? Great. Hey, um, I was just wondering, why are you, why are you doing those snow angels in my yard? In my driveway. Snow angels in your yard? Well, in my driveway. You're, you're coming over and you're doing snow angels on the ground? Like what's No, no. You must, you must have the wrong neighbor. Who is this? Uh, th- this is Steve Dave. I, I live here on Steve. court, too. I just, I just thought it was weird that you're oh. doing snow angels, you and Eileen. Steve, Steve I, don't, I don't live on court anymore. W- where do you live now? I live over on uh, street in... Okay. Well, why why are you Which coming house, all you're, why are you coming all the way to my house to to make snow angels? What are you talking about? Well, I mean, it's definitely you. I I just don't see why you do that. Like, aren't you a little old for that? Is this a joke? No, I wouldn't joke about this. I just thought it was weird, and I thought I'd ask why you're doing that. Where do you live on court? Like, which number? Where? Yeah, which number? I'm, court? I'm over on the circle. Yeah. And you think I came up to your place and did snow angels? I know you did. Can you please not do you that? You know I did. Can you not do that anymore? Because it, it, you know, it thinned out you, the snow and then it made it all icy got, and slippery. You got the wrong guy. I'm telling you right now, I haven't been on court in months. I'm telling you the truth. I don't know. I'm telling you the truth. Okay, well, yeah, whatever. I, I don't believe you or anything, but can you please not do it again? You don't believe me? You don't believe me? Just, just don't do it again. Are you, are That's you all. Cr- do, do me a favor. Don't say that. I haven't been over on court in months. I moved off court in June of 2018. You got the wrong guy. I'm telling you right now. Yeah, but you're just across town. You, you could still come over and do that. 
I'm just across town. I could come over and do that. Why would I want to do that? That's what I want to know. Why? Why would you bother to do this? Like, why? Why would you call me? I, I don't. This is a joke. This has got to be a joke. No, it's not a joke. I just. I was hoping. What that, number? What number? Court, and I'll come over there and talk to you right now. Oh no, I don't want what you coming number, over. What number are you at right it, now? It's the same one that you what? did. You did the snow angel in my driveway. That's the, the same, one. I did the snow angel in his driveway. I, I just don't understand why you think I did that. Well, because I know you did it. It's it's not a big deal. I was just hoping you could not do it again. You got the wrong guy. I'm telling you, somebody's doing. If somebody did something to your driveway, you got the wrong guy. I'm telling you right now. But I saw him on my ring camera. It looks just like you. I'm sure it was. It looks you. just like me. Yeah. Do you want me to come over? Do you want me to come over there right now? We'll straighten this ring right out. No, I don't want that. Hey, can you tell that wife of yours to shut the fuck up in the background? By the way, it's not my wife. It's my daughter. Oh. And if you use that language again, I will come over there, and I'll beat the living shit out of you. You no, understand? Don't, don't be like that. I'm try- we should be neighborly. Come on. Hello? Hi, Ron? Yes? Hey, uh, this is your neighbor, Steve Dave. Who? Steve Dave, your neighbor. Hey, um, I was... Wondering why you did that earlier. We, we, I saw you on my ring doorbell camera. Whoa. Who are you? Th- this is Steve Dave, your neighbor. I live on E2. What, what's, your ad- what's your number? I, I, I'm like way down the street. You, you know which one it is. You came over and you, you peed your name into the snow in my yard. I did not. Who yes. the hell are you? No, I'm sure you did. I, I saw you on my ring camera. Yeah, well, why don't you email it to me? Why? I don't want... I, like, why? Why do you want... You... Who the hell are you? I didn't do anything. I, I, what are you talking about? Look, it's not a big deal. It's just it's just urine. I just don't understand why you did I, that. I, no, it's not, because I didn't do it. What the hell are you talking about? Well, it looked just like you, and they peed the name Ron into, the, into my yard. Wait a second. What? What's, your, what's, your, what's your number on road? Why can't you just do that in your own yard? What's your number on road? <sighs> I... Like, why do you need the number? Like, you know where I live. <laughs> I, you know, I'm going to report this to police because who the hell are you? This is Steve Dave. I'm your neighbor. Steve? Did, yes. Steve who? Steve Dave. Like, why did you pee your name into my yard? Why couldn't you just do that in your own yard? Well, you know, you're driving me. Well, who the hell are you? I, I keep telling you I'm Steve Dave. Spell your last name. D A V E. Steve Dave. Yeah. Well, it's not a big deal. I, I'm not trying to cause problems or anything. I, I just I didn't <laughs> understand why you did this. I, I I did not do this. Who the hell are you? What's your number on road? Who else would pee your name into my yard? If you got me on camera, send me an email. No, I don't have to. I don't have to do what you say because you're a weirdo that's coming to my yard and peeing your name in my yard. <laughs> You're a crazy man. I got your telephone number. If this is a legit call, I'm going to have the police uh, identify you're, you. You're the crazy one. You're coming over to people's yards and peeing your name into their yard? What kind of joke is this? You're, the, you're a damn weirdo. See you, buddy. You need to get a life. Hello? Hi, Amy? Yes. Hey, uh, th- this is your neighbor, Steve Dave. Oh, yes. Hi. Hey. Um, I, I was hoping you could talk to that husband of yours, Tim. Uh-huh. Uh, he he came over to my yard, and he peed his name into my yard. What? Tim came over, and he peed his name into my yard. Can you ask <laughs> him not, not to do that anymore, please? My husband? Well, is Tim your husband? My husband is Tim. Okay. Neighbor Steve Dave. Yeah. Can you ask him to please stop peeing his name into my yard? I mean, it's it's like you know, it, it didn't hurt anything, but it's still kind of weird. I don't weird. know who it is. It, it's Steve. <laughs> it's Steve Dave, your neighbor. Steve Dave. What's your address? Um. Well, Tim would know because he came over and peed his name into my yard. Tim peed his name into your yard. Mm-hmm. Yeah, why why are you repeating everything I say? But really weird. Yeah, so, I I don't know who this is. Uh, th- I keep telling you it's Steve Dave. Well, shit.
At least I'm picking people with names that are plausible. You know, short names like Tim and was Ron the other one? I think because you can't really do a long name like Michael unless you just have a really gigantic bladder. You're really talented. Of course, with Tim, you have to dot the I. That takes a little bit of skill. Um. Hi, Marco? Yes. Hey, uh, this is your neighbor, Steve Dave? Yes. Hey, um, I, I don't know what, like, wh- why you did that today, but can you not do that again? What's that? Uh, pee your name into my yard, into the snow. What, what are you talking about? Well, you, you peed your name. What neighbor is it? What uh, neighbor is this? This is Steve Dave. You peed your name into my snow, and I don't know. I just thought it was a little weird that you did that, and it's not a big yeah, deal. It didn't well, hurt. Was it, well, I don't know who you are, but that's not me. Well, so what neighbor are we talking what, about? I would never do such a thing. You're not Marco? Cause, I mean, they, they I, pee yeah, the, I'm Marco, but I wouldn't do that. Well, who else would pee your name into my yard? I have no idea, but it wouldn't be me. What, what, are you, what, are you, what yard are you? I, I'm, I'm just, like, down the, the street a little bit, like, uh, down by what? um lane. I don't even know who you are or where you are. What are you talking about? Well, yeah, I don't even know you either. Like, I, I, that's what makes this well, extra somebody, weird. Well, yeah, well. You're, like, peeing your name into the snow and then putting a heart I'm around a it. That's 53-year-old guy. What are you talking about? Yeah, it's, it's real cute, Marco. Yeah. Like, can you please not? Yeah, well, you know what? Is this a prank? Are you messing with me? No, I'm not messing with you. I just, I was hoping you could not do it again. I thought you were messing with well, me. Well, you know why? You know what? I didn't do it. So, well, either, you're, either you're just messing with me and this is somebody just... Who's pranking me? It seems unlikely that someone well, else would pee your name into my, into my snow. Well, tell me something. What house are you? I don't know you. I'm, I'm like way over there by <laughs> Lane. I don't know where <laughs> Lane is. Okay, don't yell at me. I'm I'm on, f- uh, for... Well, you're accusing me of peeing on your yard, dude. Well, it's just so in please. the snow. It's... I'm, I'm in 189. <laughs> okay. Where is your road? I, I'm 208. Like, I'm you know just just down a little bit from you. I don't know who you are or where you are, so... Well, can you just pee in your own yard from now on? Well, it wasn't me, you fuck. It wasn't fucking me. I didn't do it. I'm pretty sure it was you. Well, I'm pretty sure it wasn't me. I'm telling you right now, I didn't do it. Well, I got you on my ring camera. Like, I I could see... Oh, yeah? Well, then come and look at me. Take a look at my face. I know what you look like. You tell me that was me. Really? Yeah, you look like an idiot. You look like the kind of idiot that would pee... This is obviously a prank call. Good job. You pissed me off. You did what you had to do. Well, you're pissing me off. Well, I, you With, obviously clearly know I didn't do it. No, you did too. Like, <laughs> who else would do it? Like, who else would well, write then, your name? Then show me, show me the ring with my face on it. I don't have to show you shit. Well, then obviously it's not me, so you're clearly, you're full of shit. Well, you clearly have mental issues if you're going to come okay, in other people's so yards. Okay, so you're on what, 208? Yeah. yeah. And you have a picture of me doing it? Yes, I do, but... So take a look at me and, and tell me that that's me. No, I don't want to. Like, stay away from my house. Um, well, then, because you obviously know it's not me. No, I'm pretty... You don't know it. You, you, uh, you know what? You don't know. Then call the cops and have them investigate it. Have them look at it. I invite you to do that. And then have them come here and have them show me that that's me on your ring. I have ring, too, and I have nest cameras all over the place. I'm not going to call pretty, the cops they're, they're pretty, over pee pretty in clear. the snow. Well, I'm going to call the cops now. And I'm going to call my lawyer, and I'm going to say, you're accusing me of something so ridiculous. You're going to call your lawyer because you peed in my call, snow? Yeah, fuck yeah, because I'm going to get to the bottom of it. You're a 208? Well, not even, you're a 208? Yeah, yeah, but like... All right, I'll take it from here. Oh, okay, so you're, you're going to make a big deal out of this yeah, just because I am you're, gonna make a big you're, you're upset because, because I, I caught you. It. You're upset because I caught you. Ass. You're 208, right? Is that what you're telling me? Well, maybe I just made up the address. You ever think okay, of that? Well, maybe you're full of shit. How about you got no balls? Why don't you come to my house at 198 and confront me right now you, about the issue? You think you have balls just because you can come over here and pee in my yard? I didn't do it. You know goddamn well I didn't do it. No, I know. I know I'm know. i sure right, you did it. I'm coming over. I'm coming over right now. You put your name away. and you put a heart around I'm gonna it. I'm going to come there and I want to talk to you face to face. And I want you to tell me to my face that I peed on your yard. I'll be right over. 208? Well, may- maybe it's two, uh, 208. Maybe it's 204. You, well, who, who's to say? Grow a pair of balls. Grow a pair of balls and tell me your address. I don't, I don't want some... i come over and we discuss this like gentlemen. I don't want you some don't psycho. Me on the phone that... I'm not want... a psycho. Well, you, I'm not a fucking psycho. must be a psycho. psycho. You're, You're coming over... You're accusing me of peeing on your yard, dude. You're the fucking psycho. It's, you called me. It's more like in the snow. It's not the yard. It's in the snow, but... Whatever. still pretty fucked Whatever. up for you to do that. It, it, 
well, you seem to be pretty bullish that I'm the guy that did it. I know you did. Who else would write Marco? Who the fuck knows? I don't know. I didn't do it, but I'm coming to 208 right now. You mean I'm 206? My house. 206. I'm going to come to 208. I've been 206. 206. You said 208, dude. Yeah, I also said 204. No, nah, you said that two times because you're starting to be a pussy it, it, and you can't handle the fucking reality of accusing somebody falsely and then not being able to own up to it. And I'm coming over. You're the pussy of peeing in someone's yard and then like yeah, pretending right. you didn't do it. <laughs> All right, this is obviously a prank call. Don't call my number again. All right, I'm well, calling the cops. What's your last name? I don't have to tell you. You just told me it before. Yeah, but I'm not going to tell you again. All you, right, you well, missed I got out. your caller ID on my phone, so all that's right. good enough. That's all I need. Good. All right. Good. Yeah. Ha have a nice day, asshole. Yeah, okay. Yeah, fuck off. You again. Oh, no, this is Carol. I'm from 98.3, the gerbil, you know, the radio station. <laughs> and guess what? Ah, hey, Lamo, You just got <laughs> full-on butt slammed by the Skippy and Dippy Morning Show. Oh, he hung up. But at least he's laughing and he's not going to go kick someone's ass that lives down the street from him. I was just clicking on random houses on Street View. I mean, maps and then giving them whatever dress came up. That was a close one. I almost got someone killed. I better stop doing calls now. You know, th this is getting dangerous. I think it's a good time for me to stop and, and play some voicemails. So here it is. Thank you again, Sarah02, for this list back in 2016. Hey, Brad. It's the Press Mashed Potatoes. Hey. I was just want to say thank you for calling my uh, girlfriend's job about the magnet. Unfortunately, she works the next day, so ah, she shit. didn't hear anything about it. God but damn it. But it was pretty funny hearing her boss and uh, Amanda freak out like that. Oh, yeah, yeah. and I was going to say for uh, one of the voice, not voicemail songs, sorry. For one of the uh, ending songs of the Snowplow Show, I don't know if you saw my suggestion on Facebook, but probably not. You should, if you want to. I know you're not my pet monkey or whatever you said last time. Mm -hmm. You should play the song uh, "Shaniqua Don't Live Here No More" by Little T. All right, Brad. All I right. love you. Keep up the great work. I don't know that Bye. one, but maybe I'll play it at the end of today's show. Hi, Roy. It's yeah. Daniel with the Warco Airlines flying into the beautiful Santa Fe, fucking New Mexico. Fucking Municipal Airport on fucking hey. Tuesday. I'm going to have some beer and listen to PLA Radio on American Airlines from San Jose all the way to Phoenix and all the way into Santa Fe, New Mexico. You're Thanks crazy. Thanks to free fucking T-Mobile Magenta. You're you know you can listen to your radio person. show through GoGo -Go in-flight internet. Oh, that's great. Okay, Roy Jabal. Also just play the smart download it on a podcast app. Take care, my Not friend, and keep it. on PLA. -ing. Thanks, you too. Good morning, Roy. This is Ernie calling from California. Hey, Ernie. I was just wondering if you'd notice something. Every time you prank call a pawn shop owner or other podcasts call pawn shops, I've noticed those guys get really angry. I think the pawn shop industry tends to attract uh, like a really rough bunch. Oh yeah. And I wondered if you've noticed that. That makes sense. So, bye. Fuck I don't. Pussy. Yeah, I don't call enough pawn shops. I don't think. Maybe I could call up pawn shops and tell them we're changing their number. I know I have called them. I just don't call them very often. I have a snowplow for you, and I have a bunch of Christmas. I mean, birthday cards for you. A bunch of birthday and cards. And I sent you fifty bucks. Oh. So um, I need to figure out how to send you the snowplow, how to send you the birthday cards, and uh, whatever. Bye-bye. Okay, you'll figure it out somehow. Maybe email me, show at snowplowshow.com. Hey, Brad, it's Other Brad. I just listened to episode 608, probably about for the third time in a row. It is third one of your time in a row? episodes in a very long time. Because when you think about it, anybody who leaves their phone number on a Twitter is our Twitter reply is completely deranged. Yeah, they they're just asking just for it. To, to hear you speak to, especially the guy who actually thought you were Melania Trump. I'm really curious to know, and I wish he pressed it further, why he needs a lawyer and to contact the State Department about a priest and two nuns in Slovenia. Hell and if I know. What I... the hell is up with trying to bring 14 nurses into the U.S.? Yeah. I don't know, man, but that was good. You should try and do that one again. Yeah, I definitely yeah. will. Um, I still have maybe a half of his list or a third of his list of those Twitter numbers, and it's pretty easy. I mean, I think what he probably did is just did a search for the phrase, my number is, on Twitter, and just looked at the latest posts. I could do that every day if I wanted to, probably. 
and get stuff that's more recent. So yes, I definitely need to do that more often. And I'm sure I'll try and finish up his list again soon. That was a fun list. Hey, Bradley, this is Jacob calling East to the Rockies again. I'm hey. uh, driving around listening to Snowplow Show episode 523. Ooh, that's old. Uh, the Sovereign HOA. And I have a quick question. Uh, during your show, you had said that you were looking on their site and they had uh, information about their meetings and whatnot. Oh, yeah. But yeah. I don't recall ever you ever saying what their, because uh, you said it was up to date, what they had said about uh, <laughs> the Sovereign HOA stuff. Because, uh, that was probably a really interesting meeting that night. Oh, I'm sure it was. Um, I would have loved to have been there. For us on that. That'd be amazing. Keep up the good work, brother. Cactus, I think, cactus. I think I updated on that one, and the update was that there is no update. The They have like several different versions of their meeting minutes, and I think the ones that had the good stuff in them were locked down with a password, so I couldn't see anything. And the ones that weren't password protected were just kind of boring, you know, very general stuff. And maybe they locked it down more because of me. I don't know. But I never got to see those minutes. I should have kept the numbers of the people who were amused by me and asked them how it went. Hey, Brad, this is Anthony. I'm calling all the way from New Bedford, Neil. Oh, and um, all the way. I just wanted to say how grateful I am to know that I'm not the only one who's been berated by the first lady mocking me by using happy gilmore references uh oh, it's very yeah. frustrating and something i go through on a daily basis yeah uh, also maybe if you get any more sensi numbers uh you can call as doug so sensi doug can make a triumphant return yeah i actually Thanks. thought Bye. about that as i was editing the call later i'm like yeah i should have said my name's doug doug from sensi it would have been perfect but nope didn't Hello, think of it dj Hodgson, calling from Roy, New mexico i'm in my car so i'm sorry if you can't hear me um, I have okay. a prank idea because I know how much you love those. Turning the volume and way up. Laugh it off or tell us how you already did it. But some of us have not been listening for 10 years like a lot of your fans have. So mm-hmm. I apologize in advance. But I think it would be cool to see Holy you use shit. the alphabet. Half more. of your fucking voicemail is you explaining what you're about to do in the voicemail and how I should react to it. Often, um, which I know there's only some times you can use it, but maybe you could dedicate an episode to calling up customer support numbers. And pretty much just spelling out like the name of the company you're with or the, your you know account, your customer name. And then when they keep screwing up the spelling because the way you're spelling it out, have to like get escalated and just see how much you can get the call escalated before you're like, oh, yeah. in trouble or something. I yeah. think that'd be cool. Uh, cactus, cactus. Drive customer service people insane with my phonetic alphabet. That sounds like fun. Hey, Brad, it's Justin from Maryland. Just uh, listening to the most recent episode, 608, Brad Gets Political. And I had an interesting idea that, sure that I don't excited think I've ever heard of the uh, I know you hate getting ideas, so I'll try to keep it quick. Um, I know you hate you getting ideas, so I'm going to do it. People, um, calling like people complaining about grocery store things and like giving them like a hyperinflated uh, version of what they want. So like if they're like I'm imagining like someone calling and complaining like oh I got bad customer service and then you call them up and you're like oh yeah we fired that guy. And and he's gone. This sounds like exactly what happened on a recent Dragon Mirror show. I think it was this past Friday in the hijinks chat room. He did that exact same thing. Like fired some lady, said that she wouldn't be able to feed her 12 cancer children because they got her fired. Tried to make her feel bad. I can't remember how it went, but that's exactly what he did. I feel like you're just listening to Dragon Mirror and trying to make me feel bad for not doing awesome things like he does. And like Whatever. We, it- blew up his car and we killed him or like you know like getting increasingly crazy things of like what you did to this person because they had like a bad store complaint and like there was the time that i fired i think i fired Giad, and then Giad came back with a hand pistol and he shot me and i died or something like that i can't remember exactly what happened but that was kind of way fun. too far so i don't know i thought that might be an interesting idea Give, like, give the people what they want, like way too much of what they want, yep. and say all the horrible things you did to these people. I can title the show, Be Careful What You Wish For. they bad customer service. Okay, thanks, bye. Yeah, why don't you just listen to Dragon Mirror, since you love Dragon Mirror so much, and what he does on his show. Hey Brad, you know what today is? Today is Friday, which means that you are a fuck face. Oh man. Guess, guess what? Motherfucker. It's it's Sunday for me. So I I missed Friday. I love your show. All right, bye. By the way, I'm getting the link to that Dragon Mirror show 
right now. I'm going to put it in the show notes on snowplowshow.com. You guys should definitely listen to it because there's this one in particular. I can't remember who exactly they were calling, but there was a husband and there was a wife and the wife was like in the background, just, you know, trying to give her two cents. And the husband just laid into her. He started screaming at her. He's like, I'm trying to talk to this guy on the phone. You're acting like you're a damn attorney or something. You know, shut up, woman. Which is pretty terrible, but oh my god, it was it was pretty funny. <laughs> so I found that on his Mixler, Mixler.com slash Dragonmere, and I have put a link to it in the show notes if you want to listen to that. It might have not been the exact same thing you were saying. In fact, that may have even been Dwight's show last night. I listen to way too many prank shows. I get everything confused. Maybe that was Dwight last night doing that, not Dragonmere. But whatever, I'm linking to Dragonmere's show anyway. Because about an hour into it, there was an incredible call of a guy yelling at his wife. Hey, Hey, Roy, it's Jimmy from Pennsylvania. Hey. I got an idea for you when you do uh, calls. Great, at the end of the call, an idea. When you act as uh, a customer service representative. You should ask them to do a live customer survey and ask them the questions and then completely disregard their answers and give yourself a good survey. All right, love you, Roy. Bye. Okay, I will do your idea. Holy shit, I just found exactly where the lady is on Dragon Mirror's show. It's not a wife. It's the guy's daughter. So listen to this and then feel really bad for the daughter because this is terrible yet hilarious. I worked in customer service listen, for 12 years listen. and this is ridiculous. Because there's option three. And option three is he could get three more jackets with express shipping. And then he'll have the jackets while he waits for the other ones. And then when he gets no, the sir, other ones, he'll be No, no, never no. mind, Cameron. Hold on a second. How much for express shipping cost? No, no, Shut up! three more jackets. I ain't paying for three more jackets. He wants you to order three more. No, what, what, what's for the three more jackets? Yeah, Explain three more that jackets. To me. We'll give you three more jackets. We'll charge you again. We'll give you three jackets. And no, we'll get them no I don't want... No, 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 no. Shipping no, no, is... Let me, let me hold on. Let me get the shipping. Let me get no, the shipping. No, sir. He wants a fucking refund. Damn it. Get out the fucking phone. Fuck it here. Shut the fuck up. I'm trying to hear what he's saying. You're getting like you're... Fucking lawyer, now shut up. Are you still there? Yeah, of course I'm here, sir. I just really okay. feel like the most... Holy shit. Can you believe that guy? And Dragomir was nice enough to kind of abort the prank soon after, in a way. I mean, he let the guy know that he wasn't really with the company because I think he's a little bit concerned. But definitely go to the show notes and click on Dragomir's show and listen to that one. It happens right around an hour and 50 minutes. Hey, <clears throat> wasted memory. Yo, hey, uh, wasted memory. You know what makes me a rage, Brad? Uh, the cell phone cases that are like sticky and like you try to get your phone out of your pocket and it pulls your pocket inside out. Oh, I hate that. That makes me rage. And it's, oh, and then like you, you gotta, should keep your phone in your purse and then it'll never happen again. Like put the, uh, the but you know, then when you do that, it gets it like sticks to all of your wadded up Kleenex and your hard candies and stuff. Never mind. That's not a good idea. Oh, they're privacy whatever for your voicemail and then has no rings you did it you did it brad you did yeah, it yay yeah. hooray brad all right well, bye you know, wasn't me it was the listener that told me how to do that very easy thing that i probably should have known how to do mr carter hey jim bob the impaler hey 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 been a minute yeah anyway i'm here it's nice work. honey bored out of my damn skull listening to randy will put the pistol to you on the old YouTubes. Yeah, that's a good one. Yep. Okay. It's been a minute since I called, so yep. I just wanted to call. You said that. Hi. You're repeating yourself, Jim Bob. Later, man. All right, bye. Brad, you motherfucker. Minnesota, Greg. You got to keep yeah. saying motherfucker. Don't stop that. That's fucking hilarious. Okay. Bye. I actually ruined a few of the calls today. I'm sure I'm going to edit those out, but I tried saying that I was with the country club that the list was from, and you've been being a real motherfucker here at the country club. They would just hang up on me. I gave up on doing that. It's funny when it works, but usually hey, Brad, it doesn't. Hey, Brad, um, hey. I'll keep this quick. So, you know, when you always get those spam, everybody gets these spam calls every day. Yeah. And uh, this guy was actually left me a callback number, and but he kept leaving like the same callback number over weeks and weeks. And it's, it's just like a whole scam operation, and they t won't tell me their website or anything. Um, but anyway, it's it's like a shitty little wannabe scam op, and uh, 
They gave me their well, actual probably a number, real scam. Three, four, seven, seven, four, oh, five. hey, 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 don't, don't give out numbers on the voicemail. Make me have to do extra editing and stuff. I don't need that. What the hell? Okay, whatever that is. Good job on leaving that voicemail. That's some good stuff. Hey, this is shit face. Hey, shit I'm face. I'm calling for Brad. I need him to repeat after me. No, not hey, doing it. you reached my number. Stop with the motherfuckery and leave a message. Repeat after I'm me. I'm doing it. i it and make a voicemail. Answer machine out of it. Okay. Thanks, Brad. All right, fine, I'll do it. Hi, you've reached my number. Please stop with the motherfuckery and leave a message. You know, the Patreon people, I think that's one of the perks for patrons. Maybe, at one of the levels anyway. I will make a personalized voicemail message for you. All you gotta do is ask. People do every once in a while. Not too often, but every once in a while. Hey Brad, it's Apollo. Oh my god, your hey, Andrew Apollo. Yang call is the funniest thing I've heard in a really long time. Thanks. That and the one with the lady with the Wendy's. I have no idea what Andrew Yang's voice sounds like, yeah, but me either. that was pretty fucking great. Probably doesn't and sound like you really Carol. Need to see if you can find more people wanting to do that. And uh, yeah, maybe keep using the voice changer. If nothing else, it throws people off. Yeah. You're a little more uh, Yang Shao Long than uh, Andrew I Yang, love the voice changer. It's that's great. Dope. Have a good one, Brian. Thanks. Can't wait for the stickers. You too. Bye. Oh, I decided not to send you stickers. You're not going to get any. Sorry, Apollo. Hey, fuck you, Brad. I'm not telling you who I am or where I'm coming from, you fucking piece of shit. Wow. Okay. Yeah, I hope you guys are in the mood for voicemails, because you know what? I'm just going to play all of these. There's a ton of voicemails in here. Oh, my gosh. Uh, this is my favorite Perkman. Favorite prank call show. See? And they're great Mr. voicemails, Gersh. too. Mr. Gersberms here. All right. Uh, Thanks, Mr. Gersberms. Which Yo, is- bro, I also forgot. You said the FBI raided your shit and took your computers. I, just, I remember that happening, was it, like, two years ago? That is some bullshit. Yeah, <laughs> and, uh, it's bullshit. Why, though? Like, I, I want to know more about that. Like, what? Uh, why would the FBI raid you? Do they think you're doing something? What did you do wrong? Again? I need I to add the whole FBI thing to phonelosers.com slash FAQ. That's the page where I answer questions that are asked all the time. I really need to add the FBI stuff in there with some links to where I've talked about it. But the reason was because I logged into the Safeway database, complainer database, to do a show with. Look up the grocery store prank calls and you'll hear what happened. I think you explained something. But still, anyways, that's some bullshit. (laughs) All right, bro. Oh, and he left another voicemail before that. Do I have to play his other one now? This sucks. He left them both in a row. Yo, bro, what up? God I was damn just curious, you. Like, how do you spoof your phone number? I'm actually really curious in this because I've been... Uh... That question is answered on phonelosers.com slash FAQ. I use a system called Asterix. It's called FreePBX. You can find out about it on freepbx.org. It's pretty easy. There's other ways that are explained on the FAQ page. I've been calling for a while and shit. I use Skype and um, it's all right. It's not the best. Mm. And I use a VPN. So I was just wondering how you... Uh, do your business. I know you have like some type of like turntables or some shit with knobs. Turntables. Uh, I record what? using like uh, in screen, like uh, what's it called? Uh, screen recorders, or whatever, bro. Piece. Oh, you're probably talking about my mixer or something. Yeah, I'm just recording straight onto the computer with Adobe Audition, which is all explained on phonelosers.com/faq. I'm gonna put a link to that in the show notes right now too. Hey, Roy, it's Br. I need a better name for myself. Yeah, it so. sucks. Probably the annoying guy that just keeps calling you. <laughs> anyway, um, I was listening to your last show, one of your last shows. I don't remember which one it was, oh, but Jesus you Christ. said something about. You're right. Half of the voicemails are yours. I'm gonna delete the rest of these, okay? Oh, uh, one year favorite podcasters has a bunch of people that like the that have a fan base for his their podcast and that you don't well i want to get into podcasting so i could make you one if you're still down for that Uh, hit me up what what did you say has a bunch of people that has a fan base what one of your favorite podcasters has a bunch of people that like the that have a fan base for his their podcast and that you don't well, I want to get into podcast. I don't have a fan base for my podcast. What? I don't know. Yeah, if you want to make me a fan base, please do that. Here's a bunch of other voicemails from you. Delete. Here's one from the seventh. Delete. I mean, they're not all in a row. Here, I'll play this one at least. I'll play one more of yours. Brad, it's BR again. 
I forgot to tell you. Um, you should do... I left, like, another voicemail. You probably didn't listen to it. Probably the fuck that. Um, I was gonna tell you, you should, um, do the camel toe prank again. That was funny as hell. I listened to a show earlier. The what? Did, and you told a lady she won the camel toe award. Oh, the so, camel toe award. Fucking do that shit again. I think that one is, um, in an episode in, like, 2014. We told the Planet Fitness lady that, like, she won the camel toe award. Oh, okay. Yeah, I completely forgot I did that. But I sort of remember it now. That's back when I used to get customer info from Planet Fitness and the other gyms and stuff. I don't really get customer info anymore like I used to. But sometimes I get lists and stuff. I'll try to remember to do that next time I call gym people. Hey, Roy. It's something else. Hey. That's what King Richard named me in the Discord. Anyway, oh, okay. uh, I just wanted to call and say that I listened to the like Redial show. And you've come a long way. Thanks. I've been listening to you the entire time you've been doing stuff. You know, my shows didn't totally suck back then. I think that was just a bad one. You know, occasionally there's a bad one. That was just one of them. I didn't really suck in 2013. And, uh, I didn't realize you sucked at doing it just back in 2013. I feel like you've grown as an artist, so pat yourself on the oh, back. Well, thank you. All right. But really, there is funny stuff from back then, I swear. It doesn't oh, all suck. Hey, Brad, it's Fucker Pants. I was hey. just calling to let you know that the phonetic alphabet has changed my life. And just to show you how, I'm gonna spell you my name. Fucker Pants. It's F like effort, U like me, C like Q, K like knife, E like I, R like laughing, P like pterodactyl, A like R, N like enter, T like tsunami, and S like C. All right, love you, shut the That's fuck up, hang up great. the phone, talk to you later, All bye. Right. Did you say F like effort, though? That's a good one, because my Fs suck. I have F as in fjord and F as in 4chan. Why don't I have effort up there? Or even E as an effort. Either one of those is hilarious. I'm writing that down right now on a post-it, and hopefully I'll remember to change the list one of these days and put F as an effort in there. Thanks for that one. I can take out that stupid 4chan thing that's in there. Hey, Brad. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm a piece of shit. It's punk me again. Yeah, you um, are. I thought I'd call again. I got a so. quick uh, question. I know you were making stickers, and I may might as well uh, I may uh, buy some. Um, Yay! I should get my paycheck. Anyway, um, I was asking a question. Could you possibly make PLA uh, a pet ship? That would be kind of cool, like of the bell or whatever else, or something. Oh, like uh, uh, iron-on patches or something. I'd like to. Yeah, I assume that's not very hard to do. You can also do it yourself by going to phonelosers.com slash logos, I think it is. There's full-size logos on there. You could just take it to some kiosk somewhere and ask them to do it. To that or however it works, I'm not sure, because I don't know how any of that works. But, but yeah, PS yeah, I'd like to do my own, too. Patches would be kind of cool. I'm just yeah. saying, because I like to put them on a pair of my uh, uh, battle shorts or whatever they call them. Or, yeah. yeah I got a jacket I'm selling now. Battle shorts. Um, but, yeah, again. Uh, That's what I'm going to do. This is Punk Queen, Sad Punk, or whatever the fuck. PLA patches. Hey, Brad. I hope this works. This is Apollo. I've got one of these fancy uh, Bluetooth uh, bone inductive headsets. Sounds like crap. And it says it has microphones built in. That way I can listen to stuff while I'm driving because my car radio has been kind of... Because what you have to do is cut open your throat with a knife and attach it to your clavicle or whatever. And it'll sound much better then. It'll really conduct those bones, Weird. I think. But I, this may be a really dumb question, but how long do those stickers take to arrive? I've got a gig on the 10th, and ah, I'd love shit. to have a Snowplow Show sticker on one of my keyboards. On the 10th. So. Uh, we're not going to make it. You sent this voicemail on January 4th. It is now January 19th. So worry about that. But they are in the mail. I sent them on Saturday. You should have them you know, within a couple it's, days at least. Good question, probably, but... Keep doing dumb things. I was listening to an old show, and you did a bunch of echo, and it made my head vibrate, and that was really cool. So you should get a set of bone induction headphones. They're really fun. Okay. Right, bye, Brad. I hope they sound better than you sound, leaving that voicemail. That was pretty terrible. Is the microphone bone induction, too? Yo, Brad, it's Dan from Poughkeepsie. Hey, I Dan. I just want to call to tell you I love your show. Thanks, Dan. I want you to keep doing what you're doing. I will. I actually have an idea of what your next prank should be. Oh, yay. You should actually call the hotel guests and say that you're one of the guests so you so you can flush random things down the toilet. 
I'm pretty sure one of the managers will probably wind up getting up and want to go to one of the rooms that you say you're from. Probably. <laughs> That's what Dwight does all the time. He always flushes his sheets down the toilet while he's in a hotel room and the managers freak out. It's hilarious. All right, we're almost done with voicemails. There's like eight left. Brad, Seven. I'm leaving this message because your website told me to leave this message. Okay. And I found your website for watching a YouTube video. I got to take and that some message dudes down. Invented YouTube, but to invent YouTube, they need the dude that invented the computers. And to invent the computers, he'd need the metal. And to get the metal, the metal came from and, Earth. And to get the, and the metal from the Earth, yeah, that's all you have to bake an apple pie. So I don't think I had a choice in any of that. I think. Yeah, I okay, you right enjoy now. your wee. Bye. Oh my god, please don't delete this. Okay, this is Natalia Sarai. Hey, Mother Natalia. Of Africa, North Carolina. Again, I know what I'm meant to ask. And I think I'm going crazy. Probably. So, I read your book a few Holy years shit. ago. A minute and, and a half. And I actually put it into like a voice to text to voice. And it was, um, I remember like this one part that I always laughed at. And I recently re uh, listened quote, quote, to your book yesterday. Yep. Listened to the whole thing in two days. And the part that I remember laughing at for the first time wasn't in the second part. And I think I'm going crazy. Because I remember you said you were on the plane and you wrote this skit about I think you are McDonald's. Too. And it sounded kind of like the, um, that copy pasta, like, what the fuck did you say to me? It was kind of like that, but it was like, what the mix fuck did you mix fucking say to me, you mix fucker? Some sh it was something like what? that. And I could have sworn it was in a book. I think you're thinking of someone else's like, am book. Am I just thinking of the wrong person or the wrong print? Or your, your text-to-speech thing malfunctioned and just started spitting gibberish or, at you? Have you ever wrote any, like, argument in McDonald's speak while you were on the plane? Mm. That, or, or did I just skip it? Did my voice detect this? Was it like, let me speak to your McManager or something? That sounds like something that was once written in the old PLA zine. Let me speak to your McManager, you McLoser or something. Just skip that part. Please assist. Thank you. Sorry, I know it's a little bit over uh, 30 seconds. Thank you. Have a great day, bye. Yeah, I don't know. It might be that, but that was, I don't, was that in the, the PLA book? I don't think that was in the PLA book, was it? How do I breathe without you? I want to know. All right, thanks for that voicemail. I'll just go ahead and stop playing that one. Hi, Brad. This is Cake Bake Betty. Hey, um, so Betty. Settle all that with me and my boyfriend. I want to know how many individual people you think you've pranked over the years, um, ever since you started doing prank phone calls. My boyfriend thinks there's no way. It's a million, and I think you may have hit a million by now. Can someone who's better at math help me? I'm a woman. I don't understand. Thank you. Yeah, I have no idea how to even come up with a number of how many people I've pranked over the years because I started in the 80s. I got really crazy with it in the 90s, and it's just gotten worse and worse every year, especially these past five years or so, thanks to you guys. And like on today's show, how many people did I prank in today's show? Was it like 10 or 15 maybe? But of those 10 or 15, there's another 10 or 15 that I deleted. There was a lot that I deleted today because they were just completely not funny at all. Does that even count as a prank call? Because I tried to make it funny, it just wasn't. And every show that I release, there's probably half of them that I take out and don't ever play for you guys. I just, I just delete them. So that could be a good way to figure it out. You know, I do two shows a week. I mean, three shows a week, maybe an hour and a half to two hours of pranks each week. Get, get a man for you to do some math and figure it out from that, I guess. Maybe. I really don't know. I, I have no idea what the answer is, but we should try and figure this out. Hey, bad cat. Sorry, I'm spamming you twice in a day. Yeah. Um, real quick. Had an idea when you change people's number. Can you try, like, offering them, like, a, a gift card? Some, like, trivial, like, bullshit thing companies would offer Yeah. People. I don't know. I 10 don't off at Target. Well, but you're the expert. So That'll make them happy. Out there. Talk to you later. And last voicemail. Hey guys, um, my name is Chris. I'm calling from uh, Venus, Texas. Hey, Chris. I wanted to say I really like your show, and uh, I uh, really hope you guys keep doing what you're doing. I um, will until I'm forced I watch to your stop. All the time, it's, they're really funny. Uh, um, anyway. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Uh, have a good day. Uh, don't tell me what to do. 
Maybe I don't want to have a good day today. Ever think of that, Chris? All right, that's the last voicemail. I'm finally all caught up on the voicemails. They were kind of getting out of control. I'm glad to finally be caught up on those again. Thank you, everybody, for listening and leaving voicemails. If anyone knows where on my website I am telling people to leave voicemails, please let me know so I can take that down. We don't need that shit here, do we? Uh, Thank you to the sponsors of today's show, Six Week Tenure, Jason B., The Stunning Kruger Effect, Shrink Man, and Another Prank Call Show. If you'd like to support the show, I would really appreciate it if you did that. By supporting for just $5 a month, you get an extra show every week. It's called The Hobo Sode. It's basically the same as this show, except there's not like an hour of voicemails at the end, and there's not a long intro, it's just pranks, basically. It's supposed to be just a couple of pranks, but I usually end up going on way too long every single time. It's worth $5 a month to get four of those shows every month. You can sign up by going to patreon.com slash losers, or there are other options to support the show at phonelosers.com slash support. Thank you, everybody that supports the show. Thank you, everybody who sends in art and music and phone number lists and everything else for the show you guys make this show awesome thank you i'm gonna play this song that a voicemail caller asked me to play it's by little t and one track mike it's called shaniqua don't live here no more i watched a little bit of the video just a minute ago and it seems pretty hilarious i will put a link to it in the show notes if you want to see the video this appears to be a really old song and it has an amazing video hello Time out, time out, time out. 